welcome to the Gen Free Podcast, episode one. Can I get a little applause? Let's for go. Yeah. Absolute Where pleasure to be here. One God encounter <laughs> away. I probably should have said that before. I'm your host, Diana, and we could actually go around the table and kind of like say our names. A little introduction. My name is Sawyer Robertson. I am co host of Gen Free Podcast. My name is Emily Torres. I am just here. Oh, you're not just no, here. No, but I was invited. I'm. She's here for the Lord. Yes, I am. And my name is Brian Connolly, founder of Faith Like Birds Ministries and guest on episode one. So Yay. pumped to be here with some of the coolest hosts around. Oh, Absolute beauty is. of a man. <laughs> Don't lie. You're on the podcast. You're on the podcast. <laughs> all right. All right. So I want to start off with a little icebreaker because like, you know, they don't know us. They don't know us. Um, so I kind of came up with the idea. Describe yourself in one word. Host first. One word. Me wow. first. No. Um, I say Brian first. You are yeah. a special guest. Dang, I wasn't ready for that. This like I hate that. I hate being put on the spot. I hate stuff like that. Man, oh, wow. my gosh. Um, passionate. Mm. And yeah. can I get a little explanation behind that? Um, that wasn't on your uh, well, yeah. today it's going to be. It's, it's, supposed um, to be it's very because I, I feel like whatever I do, I'm all in on stuff. Like whether it was when I was destroying my life, I was in all in on destroying it. Um and then, you know, once once God got a hold of me, like it just one eighty. Whatever I'm into, you have all of me all the time. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah. Emily. Um I don't know. Any any word. About it, I don't. It's, I it's don't tough know. when you put somebody on the spot. Yeah, I you don't know, know what? You know what? No. Lo siento. <laughs> now, um, maybe we'll start Sawyer. Yeah, yeah, Sawyer. yeah. yeah. spontaneity is good. Go ahead, Sawyer. What do you got? Well, I mean, I was thinking about amazing, but I won't go with it. Um, I think I think I'll go with leader. Leader. Wow. Leader. Why is that? I feel like I'm good at leading people. Um, especially I have a soccer background, and I feel like uh, um. Uh, I've been pretty good at um, leading people um, through the season and uh, um, like picking players um, up uh, and uh, like bringing their confidence up. Yeah, being Period. an example. Oh, mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, yeah. As well as an example in the in the youth group. I, I could see that. Yeah, that is, that's definitely one I could see. I know you is. started that whole big thing. Yeah, long the big ago thing. in April. <laughs> you were like I did. the first one up there. Yeah. Um. It, it, I. Did not expect everyone to follow. Get up out of that grave. Yeah. 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 I hop up on stage and everyone follows me. Yeah. I mean, you do. Yeah. You do yeah. have excellent leadership. It's the it's the charisma. It is. Yeah. Uh, maybe that should be your word. Charisma. Charisma. Whoa. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> should, you want me to go? Um, you no, I can go. All right, um, got this. I would say different. And not in like a bad way. I'm just different from everyone else. Mm-hmm. Like you have the people specifically at my school that like go out and party and do drugs and i'm staying home for six <laughs> hours doing my homework oh, well here <laughs> i can tell you you're here that. doing I, a podcast yeah i got invited to um a, a party where i knew there was going to be alcohol there and i said no <gasps> period crazy that, 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 crazy yes. wow. crazy you know what i did what a revolutionary home. idea huh revolutionary <laughs> idea. yeah i read yeah. my bible and played video games and i felt like a g amen just like o- owning life, just owning life, dominating yeah. video yeah. games. You know what? That, that's excellent. Oh, I wish we could do more than one. All right. Can well, you turn now? Okay. So, want to describe me? I guess I would say unique. Mm. Like, I am not, I guess, in a Christian aspect, your typical Christian or what people see as like the poster child yeah. of Christianity. I'm very much the <laughs> That'd opposite. be an interesting topic. What is the yeah. poster your child of Christianity? Well, the way I see it, right. you know, it's different yeah. to everybody. So mm-hmm. I guess I say unique and wonderfully made. I know that's more than one word, but yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I feel oh, like yeah. I would say fire to describe yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Fire. Yeah, totally. Because yeah. I feel like you don't put up with anybody's stuff. You're you like in a good way. You know what I mean? Like yeah. not in a bad way, but uh, just yeah. like. We yeah. could all be described as that in Maybe. our own unique yeah. ways. Different elements were all earth, wind, and fire, perhaps. Anyways. Fire on the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Avatar right, the Last right. Airbender. So specifically the topic today was kind of just an introduction topic of what is Faith Like Birds Ministry since mm-hmm. it is what is behind the Gen Free podcast. Come on, yeah. Which is why we invited you because why it's not It's a good explain? place to start, right? Yeah. Might as well have the yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, well, so Faith Like Birds, I mean, when, when it started in 2019, it wasn't then what it is now. So like when I started, I was like, 
I'm going to be in a different church every Sunday on and off airplanes, itinerant ministry. And there was some of that. And then COVID hits and it's like, that was a major curveball. But um, I don't know if this is, you know, in your questions or not, Ayana, but uh, the Lord put it on my heart when, when Faith Like Birds began and he's the one who named it. I mean, I tried so hard to come up with a name for the ministry. And then one day that just dropped in my heart. And it's, uh, it's actually based on a verse it's in matthew chapter 6 where jesus said consider the birds of the air that need they neither sow nor reap or gather into barns yet your heavenly father cares for them how much more valuable are you than many birds i'm like ah because that's how i want to live my life i want to live it by faith i want to live it you know with trusting in him and i'm like that just it just you couldn't make it up i'm like it just flows it's such a cool name nobody i've met was like that name stinks like everybody (laughs) likes it like and it's easy flb like it just goes it just it just works but when i stepped out in 2019 after being on staff at a local church you know uh first time you know i was uh, serving for like roughly five years then i'm you know was here in york at praise community church for roughly nine or ten so after being in full-time staff 14 years the lord's like i want you to step out do your own thing and then he put it on my heart to do these large youth gatherings that i know you guys are familiar with called Mm -hmm. the shout and uh, and it started in 2019 we had to stop in 2020 then we did it again in 2021 and in 2021 the Lord challenged me and he's like, cause I'm like, man, God, this whole, this whole thing is not going the way I thought it was going to go. Like, you know, I thought I was going to be doing more ministry. I thought I was going to be traveling more. And like I said, COVID definitely played a role in that. And he challenged me and he's like, where do you see the greatest influence in your life? Like, who do you have it with? Like, where do you have the greatest concentration of my anointing? Where do you see me move the most? I'm like, that's easy, God. It's always been teenagers. And he's like, then do that. And the moment, the moment we made faith like birds about youth evangelism, which is what it is. And like, it's really what we really envision it being is, is a movement where we're seeing teenagers restored. Mm -hmm. I mean, like there's so much going on. I don't have to tell you guys, you guys could take episodes talking about all the things in your generation, things you're up against. We were joking about some of it, you know, even before the start, (laughs) even Ayana was joking about some things that she came out of, but they're real things. And like kids are struggling and, and, and they can't, it's not enough just to tell them about Jesus. If Jesus doesn't become real, they're stuck. So I I just, the whole ministry is founded on this idea that if God can encounter you guys, then your life might be radically changed. You might actually genuinely get set free. And, uh, and so much of the ministry centers around that heavily on deliverance, freedom, identity, all those different things. And uh, we believe that in that encounter, students may just actually give all that they are and surrender their life to God. Mm -hmm. So the gist of Faith Like Birds is just that we travel, we host events, we go places. Our summer was packed with, you know, youth retreats and camps and all this different stuff. We, We host, you know, monthly encounter services called Freedom Rallies, where, again, the goal is if you come, we believe God's going to move and that the gospel is demonstrated in signs and wonders. It's not just word only. Paul said the gospel or the kingdom is not just in word, it's in power. So it's not the gospel of signs and wonders aren't following. That's just my take on it. So um, we believe very strongly in sharing testimony and creating space for God to move, change lives. And I think a lot of you guys are the fruit of that, those encounters. So definitely, yeah, Yeah. definitely me. Um, I'm going to just share. No, go, man, go off script, man. Uh, Be spontaneous. It definitely impacted my life because when I first met you, I was not in the right place. I was dealing with a lot of trauma and that became bad behaviors, which I feel like a lot of people can relate to. So when I heard your testimony, I was deeply touched by that because I feel like a lot of kids have gone, have gone through bad stuff, but they also have done what is considered bad things and they feel so lost. So for me, specifically the shout was that big moment for me. So it's just, I never felt God before then. Mm -hmm. And it was the most beautiful, raw and emotional experience and all in one it was, it was the most beautiful thing. And the fact that I think it's great that you can share God in such a way where it's not like, sometimes I feel like some outreach ministries could be like very religious Yeah, and there is no encounter. There is no, you don't feel that love. Right. And through FLB and the show, I learned to feel God's love. Yeah. And I'm going to open it up to YouTube. Well, because I can, I know I can visibly recall. I remember 2021 when Will Hart was here. And he mm-hmm. called you out. Oh my goodness. Man, did he call you out. And I, I was like, well. and those of us that are there, I'm like, you know, and I know Will and I know you. I'm like, this is nuts. And like, he just went full blown prophecy mode. And like, I remember you just shaking and trembling and weeping because he knew things that he should not have known unless you told him or unless God told him. And I just remember that was such a pivotal moment for you. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was, 
it was scary because like you, you're just sitting there and then he's like telling me all the things that happened in my life that I'm dealing with. I'm like, oh. As he's a stranger to you. Yeah. You're just yeah, like, I'm oh. like, okay. So there's, there's no there's no way this can't be real. Right? At least that right? understanding was instilled. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I'd like to hear from you too because um, I've heard yeah, personally. Yeah, it was, uh, um, uh, for me, I uh, um, uh, was at um, one of your earlier events when you did the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. That was my um, uh, first uh, um, uh, time uh, coming to one of your events. Um, uh, and... I didn't really want to go. My mother wanted me to go. Um, <laughs> I remember, I think your mom actually contacted me yeah. and said you were coming. I was like, okay. Yeah, she had contacted you first and like uh, um, she had spoken to you. And then I remember the, f the first thing you had ever said to me, you um, you were like, um, so this is the um, man I've been waiting to meet. Yes. Um, oh. uh, and then uh, um, from there I got introduced to the youth group and I uh, um, uh, met everyone here and uh, um, ended up meeting all of my best friends. Awesome. Um, uh, and... Uh, I got um, brought to Jesus as well, and it's completely changed my life. And then the shout was where um, it was like the pivotal moment where I was released from like my shell and was just yeah. completely um, uh, ready to shout and yell as much as possible. And I was <laughs> the loudest person great. there. Get on the stage. <laughs> yep. And yeah. I ended up getting up on the stage this, um, the second year I went um, last year um, and accidentally created a mosh pit. <laughs> The best uh, there was no, a moment was awesome. where I think I went and and talked to Michaela, who's behind the camera, who's our visual and creative arts director. And I said, I am so concerned that that stage is going to break right now because it was like the <laughs> platform that came out from the stage. And I'm like, we're going to have to pay for that. If that thing collapses, it's going to yeah, be no. Sawyer's fault. Like I went <laughs> up there. I was like with my friend Becca and I was like. Do you, do you want to go up there? And she was like, mm, I don't know. And the we entire went up there thing and we was both shaking. Were like, oh we were all double jumping and it was just so much fun. Dude, uh, that was like, <laughs> that moment was like possibly the greatest moment I have ever had in my life with Christianity. <laughs> and it was so awesome. Cool. And we almost broke the I stage. thank God for yeah. flexibility. Whatever yeah. was keeping that thing up, I was and like, I thank you, God. Honestly, I think it yeah. was, it was, oh, it was oh God, because so the entire was, thi the yeah. entire yeah. thing was just shaking up a storm wow. and it was insane. I took, yeah. well, I mean, I totally, well, I mean, I saw Dom get up there and I saw a couple other people get up there that are close to me. So I went over to them. I turn around, there's like 25 people on the stage. <laughs> That's like, wild, man. Uh, yeah. The best part is there oh, was people you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. So like you getting up there and it was like, and the I, cry I, of the youth, yeah. like yeah, and then, to God, like you're just standing with a bunch of strangers right? and right. you're jumping right. up and down, you're worshiping. Yeah. And it's this adrenaline rush where you're like, finally, like, here I am. This is yeah. my home. Highlight I belong me. with these people. And yeah. like, uh, I remember those people that came from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, one of them talked to me after and ta and uh, told me how um, uh, awesome um, uh, it was and thanked me for um, that moment. Um, uh, and I was like, you're welcome. I didn't do anything. Well, I'll tell you what, there wasn't just that moment. You said, you know, you describe yourself as leader. There wasn't just that moment where, like, there was leadership, you know, shown mm -hmm. when you got up and confessed a very real sin in your life, yeah. man. That yeah. opened the floodgate. I mean, like, honestly, for so many people, because at that event, the 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 testimonies that come out of it are just mm -hmm. like, I mean, Emily's one of them. You know, Ayana. You know, yourself. Like, I'm just yeah. like blown away. I'm like, you know. But again, it's because we're creating that space, yeah. believing God's going to come. But, I mean, you stood up and you confessed, and like. I mean, boys and girls yeah. both stood up and were like, that's me. And I'm like, that's because a young man stood up in the face of, like you said, like, yes, this is my family. Like, these are people, but I, I mean, I don't know them. But I mean, like, yeah. there's groups from everywhere that are coming. And yeah. I think it's even going to be, you know, larger this year. I think, you know, I word of mouth and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, we're going to cap it because we don't want to lose the intimacy of it and stuff. We don't want to just yeah. be overrun. I mean, yeah. that's not the point. But I mean, like you did that, man. Like you stood up. Yeah, we you can, know, you can go into that story for people you know? who weren't there. Um, uh, I had uh, got, um, well, I mean, I had, I had been dealing with pornography since the age of 13. That was when I was first introduced to it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, I had been struggling with it for, for years. Um, uh, and I absolutely despised it and hated it, yet um, I did it anyway. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, um, I had... Uh, gotten up on stage at the show. Well, I mean, God had first put it on my heart and told me that I need to say something about it the first night of the shout, mm -hmm. but it terrified me. I'd been up in front of people before, but never with um, something like that. And I had uh, um, ended up um, uh, not doing it on the first night. And it was the very first session of the next day where um, uh, I decided this is where I should do it. Right. And I went yeah. and I went up 
and was like, hey, Brian, <laughs> I need to do something. Yeah. yeah. I remember you pulling me aside, and I'm like, go for it, man. And, like, and so I did. I did. I wasn't one of the people who stood up originally, but then I think you had said something like, if you see someone around mm-hmm. you that, like, stood up, like, go pray with them and do that. And I saw someone that I knew, and I was like, okay, I can trust this person. Yeah. And I went up there, and I was like, I started crying. I was like, I was so scared because my mom went to the shower and she, yeah. I don't think she had a clue. And I was like, I was so scared. And I was like, she can't find out because she's going to hate me. And when I went up But there, your mom wouldn't care. Your mom is the yeah. sweetest. <laughs> she was probably crying in the corner somewhere. Oh. Like she's so tough. Yes. I was Something to, to the tune of that. Like um, uh, I had uh, told everyone at the shout, but then once I got home, I, it took me forever to tell my family yeah. what yeah, I, what, that's um, a great I had gotten upstate. Yeah. And that's, and, that's uh, what and you did. were battling. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I have, I've had like done certain like stuff similar to that and I like got in so much trouble So I was like scared yeah. to like mm-hmm. do it even though I had stopped for like years mm-hmm. Maybe a year. Yeah, like but that it was just for me There was racking. there was like a spell where I was able to um like stop doing it on my own But then I fell back into yeah, it I've mm-hmm. had that right. um, uh, And that's just the worst when you're like, yeah, oh, I think I'm finally free of it And then like and then it comes back and then like yeah. it's just one day when you're completely bored and you're just yeah. like, oh, yeah There's that thing. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I can really yeah, I get it. That's and me. it's that's like that story. That, was um, my story. Um, story of uh, um, Jesus walking through the um, uh, the, de- the desert and uh, it says that the enemy will um, uh, wait for an opportune time mm-hmm. um, and that that's when he um, gets to us when when we're alone um, uh, and uh, um, like doing nothing. That's when oh, he'll yeah. uh, attack us with uh, um, those uh, temptations. Yeah. yeah, like I even just broke free of something like maybe two months ago that I've been dealing with since I was like eleven, mm-hmm. mm. and it was so relieving to be like, because I had, I like when I had my free class in school, I'd be like fourth period, I'd be like just reading and reading and reading, and I'd be like okay enough and I like put it down then the following day I didn't log on to the website and then like the entire weekend I didn't log on yeah. and then Monday came and I was like oh wait I didn't do this and I haven't done it in like a week and a half and I feel so happy I'm like yeah. well I know awesome. you were starting a little like Emily you were starting a little bit on your track of the shout mm-hmm. would you like yeah. to go more into it um, because then yeah. we kind of got on off, yeah. off the yeah, tangent, no, but personally I'm interested to yeah. hear how um, you were a product of LFB. yeah it's good um, <laughs> I went to the not the first one because I had moved so I had been depressed like for like since I was 10 and I'm 15 now and um, I had gone to the shout and the second shout and I had gone it was one that Will Hart went to yep. the first 2021 one. Yeah. yep and that was I'd my first as well and, yeah yeah <laughs> He he was speaking about how like Jesus delivered this guy from uh, demons and they all went to the pigs and then <laughs> and then the pigs ran out and then but he before that he was like if you're getting touched by the story just like stand up and so I I was bawling I was like mm-hmm. crying and so I stood up and then all of a sudden I like was like oh my goodness I don't want to kill myself anymore. And I, like, fell to the ground. I pulled out my phone, texted my best friends, and I was just so happy. And then I had to leave the sanctuary to go call my dad. Like, he was the first person I called because I'm, like, I don't want to kill myself anymore. I've had moments where I'm, like, do I really, like, like, why don't I? Like, I should. But I've always been able to snap back out of it. And then we had just gone up to Airborne this past weekend at the Life Center. And I was kind of like shaking and crying and laughing, at, but I was like holding myself back. And Rebecca Lindsay comes over. <laughs> always the Lindsay. Always the Lindsays. <laughs> <laughs> she came over and she was like, "God's just telling you to like let it go." And I started. I lost. I was like crying. I was shaking. I was crying one minute, laughing the next minute, and then I felt so free. And then something else had happened, and I was like calming down. And then I went back over to like hug my friends and like pray for my friends, and then. Rebecca's behind me and she's like, I'm just getting like waves of body insecurity and I've struggled with body insecurity for like so long. And I still struggle with it, but like I would compare myself to everyone and she's just like, I, I'm going to pray for you. And I was like, okay. And she's like, I see chains breaking. And she's like, she's like, repeat after me. You are loved. You are beautiful. And you're a child of God. And like, I was, <laughs> I was I saw, I like closed my eyes and I saw, I'm sorry, this is taking forever. I like closed my eyes. I closed my eyes and I like saw myself, but like with a bright light around around me. And I was like, how could I ever hate that? Yeah. Because he says in Genesis somewhere, 
probably one Genesis one something. He was like, everything he, <laughs> he's like, everything I've made is good. And it said, we are made in the likeness of God. And it's like, if we're made like God, how can you hate yourself? Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, most of this is highlighted. Okay, I see you. Um, you said uh, you think it's in Genesis one. I, I I can find something like it. Just give me a second. Yeah, and it was just, and I was like, how could I ever hate that? And I like yeah. went to bed, and I woke up the next morning, and the first thing I thought was, I am beautiful. Yeah, and I was just, I'm so happy. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think that's powerful to say because, like, you know how hard it is for yeah. people to say those three statements, and yeah. it's you think it's exceedingly simple. Yeah. And then when it comes to it, it's like your mouth is shut. Yeah, yeah. it's like or that your brain's like, you're like trying to say it and your brain's like, no, you aren't. No, you aren't. And mm -hmm. it's like, yep. I've struggled with that since I was like nine or ten. Yeah. And I was like, and I still struggle with it. Like I compare myself to people, even yeah. if it's not with like how I look. And it's like within the church, I'm like. For you, Sawyer, for example, it's like, oh, Sawyer's so much better than I am. He's such a better Christian. And then it's like, I'm just back here, like, doing my thing. And it's like, Sawyer's, like, up here, and I'm, like, down here. And it's... Like, we all kids. struggle. <laughs> yeah, like, I... Uh, yeah. Before, Air, well, before and during Airborne, I, I was uh, um, having a tough time, even though it may have seemed like I was on top of the world. Um, I ha do and have um, uh, still struggled um, in, my, uh, um, uh, in my walk with God. And, uh, um, like I, everybody struggles in their walk and yeah. nobody is perfect. And like, uh, um, uh, like I get up during youth and like talk and share testimony. I try to like, um, every time and I feel like I am that example, but I also am not the perfect one to look at. Instead, we should yeah. be looking, um, to God and I think it's good to have role models, but I think. God is the best Not role model. True. There we go. <laughs> Very true. And like with what you were talking yeah. about, it makes me think of um, the story um, Brian has uh, um, said about like when he was uh, alone uh, watching like a video of a pastor and the pastor said to like hug yourself and say that you love yourself I and Brian couldn't. Like I, yeah. I still can't do that. I can't be like, oh yeah, you are such an amazing person. I love you so dearly. Like I can't do that because I hate myself yeah and that's something i've um worked through myself as well um uh, like uh for the longest time i um uh, was somebody else when i was around other yeah. people mm -hmm. um whereas uh um, like when i was alone i was completely different and completely um yeah. depressed yeah, and sad yeah and like my we were at youth group yesterday and one of the people it was my mom actually mm -hmm. she was like we should make this a place where it's weird not to be on your face yeah. in front of the altar. And yeah. I was like, yes. Like, it's, and I'm getting to the point where it's like, oh, you don't believe in Jesus? You're weird. Come, come hang well. out with the cool kids. <laughs> come hang out with us. Yeah. Come hang out with us. We're cool. It's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I did find the anyone. verse you were talking about. Oh, and okay. I would like to have a little bit of a reflection on it because I feel like it might tie into our mission statement, which is restoring and releasing the next generation into freedom and relationship with God through events, discipleship, encounters, and media. And it's the verse you talked about, but I, there's so much you can get out of it. It is um, Genesis one twenty six. Yeah, that's the whole verse. All right. So it says, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. They will, they will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, the whole earth, and the creatures that crawl on the earth. Specifically, mm -hmm. it's more of that first statement, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Yeah. That's what yeah. you were reflecting on, but it also yeah. stood out to me. I guess my question for Brian is, oh boy. <laughs> how? I think it ties into the Back mission statement. Would you consider it like, like kind of attached, at least when I see it in a certain way, because it is kind of a... And how I see a foundation of who we are, whether we think of it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, wholeheartedly. I mean, when you read that mission statement, I'm like, oh, that is kind of long. There's a lot in there, but it's good. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's a good mission statement. You know, and yeah, it's this idea, like you said earlier, Ion, about restoring and releasing, you know, young people into what relationship with God through the different means that we do it with media, stuff like this. Like, it's awesome that we have a student led podcast. I love that. And like, it wasn't, it wasn't my idea. It was Michaela's idea. So there's a lot that I can't take credit for anymore <laughs> that I'm just like, that's awesome. Run with it. Go. But yeah, I mean, like when you think about it, 
And I had a friend explain it like this. So like God made man in his image. And then you read later in 1 John 4 that God is love. So the intent of God when he first made people, man and woman, was that they would reflect his image in glory, which is that we, we'd, we'd be loved, that we yeah. wouldn't be selfish, that we wouldn't be self-centered, you know? And even some of the stuff like that, that you know, Emily was saying was a struggle for her, you know, or is a struggle for her, which was a struggle for me. Like at the end of it, like <clears throat> it's a self-centered route. Like if you're concerned about what people think, like it is self-consciousness. It is the reality of, um, I, yeah, it, it, it's almost as if to say, you know, and it sounds kind of harsh, like pride's at the center of it because I'm still making life about me. Like I'm yeah. concerned about what you think about me. And that ran my life, you know, for years. And, and, and that's why I have this passion in my heart. Like most times, like when you, when you experience God in a way where you were set free from the thing that the enemy used to attack you with, it does something like the place where you were wounded becomes the place of strength. And now yeah. you can now in authority and experience share your heart with others to bring other people on that journey. Cause I felt like I was walking around for the longest time in a dark forest. And I didn't know how to get out. And it yeah. all had to do with how I saw myself. I couldn't receive love from God. I couldn't receive love from people. The very thing I wanted, I was afraid of, but it all had to do with the way I saw me. And I know what it means. Do you mean so? you're like, I was whoever you needed me to be yeah. just so you would like me. So mm -hmm. I know at the end of the day, I believe so many students, that's the struggle is we're trying to find ourselves among ourselves. We're trying to find ourselves comparing ourselves yeah. to one another. And then we wind up falling short, you know, then we wind up feeling bad or we feel better about ourselves and whatnot. And that's not the healthy way to, you know, find it. But yeah. in, at the end of the day, you were made, we were originally created in the image and likeness of God. So that makes sense then why the Bible talks about this idea that Jesus redeemed us which means to bring us back, to pay a price to bring us back to where it is that God, the original intent in God's heart was that we would then walk free and have the ability through Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit to live in a way where we do love ourselves and from that place we can love one another. Yeah. But the only thing that's going to do that is 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 experiencing the goodness, the kindness, the love. I mean, when we when we minister to kids, the number one manifestation I see, and we were talking about it earlier, we were joking about some different things, but the number one manifestation I see is kids cry mm -hmm. all the time. And and I think the reason for that, and that's, we see them shake and they, you know, and everything else and, you know, they fall and different stuff like that. But like, I, I'm convinced it's because there's so much pain inside of teenagers that when that love that they're hungering for, but they just don't realize it touches them, it, it's it's overwhelming. Yeah. And, and in a moment, that pain gets replaced with this overwhelming love, you know, and uh, and it's from that place then where we can we can live that and be that, you know, for other people. So, I mean, yeah, Ayana, like God made man in his likeness and image, the image of the Father, Son, and Spirit, the three of them together is love, our image, you know. And I love that because God's about family. It's our, you know, and two thirds of the Trinity, father and son are family, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and he wants us in his, in, in the family and, and we're not doomed. Jesus breaks every curse because yeah. he became the curse yeah. on the tree, you know, yeah. but we need to see that and we need to be able to walk in that. And he wants us to experience that. So. Yeah. yeah. What you were saying and like how it manifests, I've, um, uh, I've experienced most of it. Like I've cried, I've shook, mm -hmm. I've, uh, um, uh, I've laughed. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it, <laughs> I remember the, f well, I mean, I remember the f first shot I went to, like, uh, that was the first time I was ever like around it. And I remember, um, Rebecca, um, just like <laughs> laughing and oh, I remember dying that. She was floor. up at the altar, just laughing yeah, the, the entire, entire time. time. Like even after, like it, uh, even after worship, she was still up there on the right. floor. And just I remember saying, just let her go. Speaking. She's fine. She's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. She's fine. We'll let yeah. her go. Yeah. yeah. It's the Holy Spirit. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and awesome. and now that I'm been around it, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, and like I'll go up and pray for that person. Right. And, um, whereas uh, like uh, before, I was uh, um, uh, what in the like, world is confused. that confused? <laughs> yeah, like, like, why are they laughing? Are why they are like they laughing? I didn't. I didn't say something funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, I wasn't the source. Why are they laughing? Why are they right laughing? Now? There was yeah. something you said about how like I forgot it, but how God is love, mm -hmm. and I heard this past weekend like. I think it was Sunday. The youth pastor was Amy Gottwald. She was like, uh, how is it that God loves everyone so much that he was willing to be beaten beyond recognition, yeah. carry his own deathbed basically, and be hung there for hours, just a brutally yeah. pain death. Yeah. And 
I've always had a hard time understanding, like, how can God love? Like, if you look at it, he died for each and every person's sins. So, like, not in a selfish way, but how could he love this one person so yeah. much that even if it was that one person that got saved, like, yeah. he died for that one person how can yeah. you love one person that much and it just it shocks me i cry every time i think about it yeah that was something i dealt with um because i've been a christian my whole life but i wasn't like yeah. in it as much as i have been these past few years um uh, and uh, like i was like i would just think i would just think about it like why would he do that for for me yeah. yeah, like I didn't, I didn't like myself, right? And uh, um, but isn't that interesting? I just didn't I, I'm telling you, like that is, I am convinced, and maybe this would be a different episode, but like I'm convinced that's the number one thing that plagues like your generation yeah. and even mine. Like it's not just limited to you guys, but mm -hmm. like that whole self rejection thing, that whole inability to love oneself and and to believe you're worthy of certain treatment. I should be punished. I should be rejected. It I should so be this. Common. It I is so common. So yeah. so Michaela and myself and I took my daughter Lily um to this event yesterday called Taken by Storm in Man's Choice Church of God, which I'm like that is the weirdest name for a city I've ever heard. Man's <laughs> Choice goodness. is just strange. I wonder if it was brought up by a man. Like it it may, was, may, it man's maybe his last name man's it's M A N N so maybe that was somebody's last name uh, but anyhow so uh, like <laughs> we're ministering kids are encountering God like it's beautiful kids are weeping like and it was it was awesome then there's this one girl that was sitting in the pew and the youth pastor came up and said would you mind you know praying and talking with her and man she just had the hardest and coldest exterior mm -hmm. like I mean just hard and cold as ice and I'm sitting there talking with her and and the youth pastor's there and and she's just like you know, you just don't know where I've been, bro. Like she was raw city. I mean, like she yeah. was just like, I'm like, how are you this city girl on man's choice? Like we're in like nowhere. Like we're not near <laughs> Philly. We're not near the New York city. Like, yeah. dude, I mean, she was just hard. And like, and she's like, you know, she even looked at me, she goes doing drugs. Ain't that bad, bro. Like she's like, you know, I've done worse. And I said, honey, I get it. But like she, all she wanted to know was, can I be forgiven? And meanwhile, forgiveness is hanging. Yeah. on a cross and it's like god is explicit he says in, in john chapter one through john he says to all who have believed and to those who can receive and that's the issue people are just like yeah i believe in god but can you receive it yeah that's so yeah. much different like can you can you because like you will never get past your own opinion of yourself that's why i think the the encounter with god is the only thing that can get past that wall. Yeah. It's the only thing that can get over it, knock it down, where you now have to deal with that. Like, oh my gosh, like this thing is real, you know? And I, I felt so bad. I mean, she is weeping because, and she, she gave me a hug because she's like, I, like, you know, mad respect. She's like, I don't have a father figure in my life. And like, you're taking the time to sit here, you know, and talk yeah. to me, oh, you I know? That. And I'm just, yeah, she's just like, you know, crying and stuff. And I'm like, and this is what I said to her. I said, honey, like, I don't need anything from you. I'm not going to headlock you and make you pray this prayer. Yeah. You're on a journey. I said, you know what your job is? Cause like she, she openly admits, she goes, I'm into girls. I said, that's fine. I said, that's there. totally fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, there. and I'm, and he's not asking you to change that. Yeah. I said, your job is to be loved. That will change you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, if, if you think I got to clean up before I come, yeah, that ain't going to work. Yeah, like no. while you were yet a sinner, he died. Right. So, uh, but I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm watching this girl struggle because it intellectually, she can't compute. It doesn't register that because of what I did, there's no way he can love me. Yeah. Yeah. There's no yeah. way. And the excuse was, you don't know where I've been, bro. And I'm like, yeah. but I do. Yeah. I do. I trust me. I do, you know? And, uh, and I gave her a sweatshirt and I gave her my, Aww, and she just yeah. cried. And like, and I, 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 I looked at him, like, honey, I love you. I don't know you. I love you. Like, yeah. because I get it. I yeah. know what it's like to like think because of what I did, he, there's no way he can. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think that's awesome. Yeah. I, and awesome. I, 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 I like will interrupt for a second because, <laughs> yeah. um, five minute mark, it's almost been 40 minutes. So I'm just kind of letting us macro. know. So we should wrap up soon, yeah. but, um, yeah, 34 Minutes, but yes, that's a huge right. can of worms we could that get. is yeah. it but is that's... and it could lead into something else but yeah yeah that that is beautiful especially i want to share something real yeah quick. go because i have been in her position especially mm -hmm. when you described her as like that hood oh she's hood, hood. Man. i'm telling you she was no, hood. No, no. and she's like bro and i'm like okay <laughs> like, like oh so this is where right. we're going <laughs> we're going here today we're going here today well no it's because personally i i'm still kind of like can't help it. Like I just, I cover it up. You can't well. get the city. I, the girl, have I, you seen uh, my mom? <laughs> I, love <laughs> she yells mom. At me. I love your mom. <laughs> like you, you can never, you can never take it out. Yeah. But 
a beautiful thing is, at least personally, I know a lot of girls in those situations, including me, right. you don't have fathers. So the fact that you showed the father's love to oh, somebody. Oh, and she, she's yes. weeping. She's like, I miss my father, bro. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's just never, ripping my heart out, That's the one thing you never want to admit. You kind of want that cold yes. exterior. Yes. Like, want, I don't care. I don't need him. But like, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. You really do. Like, I don't and know I called I her out on that because that, yeah, because then she's like, you know, well, I don't really need a dad. Like I got, you know, all these people in my life. I said, honey, I said, every, I said, I'm the father of four girls. I said, every, fa every, every child should have a dad that yeah. looks at them in the eye and says, I'm proud of you. We do. I'm proud of you and like I, yeah. I I love you and there's nothing you can you're gonna do that's gonna change it. And then she started crying. That I'm is like, see, beautiful and heartbreaking. You're, yeah, you're trying to be hard. Yeah. And but at the end of the day, you're just trying hiding. to be your own man. Yeah. Even me, like I have my dad. He's always around, but I like always have the need to like impress my dad. Like yeah. school stresses me so out. <laughs> school yeah, stresses yeah. me out so much because I'm like, like just the other week, I got a 40 on my math test, and I was like, I was <laughs> bawling happens. in the Aww. cafeteria. And I was like, my dad is going to kill me. Not literally. I'm still here, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> we raised you up. We raised you from yeah. the dead. <laughs> yeah. That's In the name happened. of Jesus. Yeah. All right. In the name of Jesus. But I was, right. and he was like, I, t I texted him and he was like, okay, that's fine. We'll yeah. figure it out. We'll figure mm -hmm. out where you went wrong. Seriously, the one question I missed, I forgot. I put my line a certain way on the graph and it was supposed to go the other way. Oh, it was way. math? Yeah. That is understandable. Math yeah. But, yeah. But I'm, not a, I'm not a math person church. either. So like having him be a person in the church. Uh -oh. you. Okay, the math on. person. We all know who that. I know who that is. <laughs> so oh my my oh, scoop. The accountant for our church. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. We yeah. will not name names, no, but no. shout out to if he's whoever this he man is. Who he is. <laughs> if you watch Stop this, me out. if you're we watching, you. we love you yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. I love All you. All right, so it's yeah. 37 minutes. Um, well, closing question. remarks. Yeah. yeah. Here, well, I have uh, yeah. I have uh, something to say to uh, what Brian was talking about. I think the first time it really clicked for me, I. I think it was Miss. I think it was Amy that said it. Um, she said um, she was. We were talking about like uh, um, self harm and like um, not liking yourself and like doing stuff to yourself. And, and uh, she and she said something to the tune of, "Do you think you're adding on to what he went mm -hmm. through?" Yeah, and I think that's I, the I first time it clicked often. for me. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't add. To, he's already been punished yeah. enough. Yeah. You can't punish yourself more. Yeah, yeah, it's powerful. I think that's the first time it really clicked for me. Yeah, yeah that's like so relatable because. Now that I have Jesus in my life, I'm trying to subtly, like, as you were saying, you didn't want, like, didn't force it on that person. So, yeah, right. firstly, people know I'm Christian, but, like, mm -hmm. I don't try to, I'm not, like, so out there about so it. So out there about it. It's mostly when I'm, like, one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. And there's this one person specifically that I've kind of been using that approach. And it broke my heart because this mm. person texted me and they were, like, no one ever listens. Like no one yeah. ever. And the fact that you can listen and that I, I cried in my bed. It was like wow. 1 a.m. Yeah. And I'm like sobbing because I'm like, that's wow. the love for Christ. Like that's he right. wants to listen to you. And he, it's not that's like right. he wants to sway you a certain way right. or have you a certain direction. He just yeah. wants yeah. your he wants heart you. yeah. at the end of the yeah, day. He hung yeah. out with and ate with sinners. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and who he is changes people. Yeah. Go, Emily. Because we, we got, yeah, we got yeah, two minutes. Yeah, okay. Two minutes. There was something that was said about how God doesn't pick the super cool ones. Like, yeah. he, he picked Moses and he had a stick. Yeah. And, like, there is this one story. I forget what happened, but this girl, her, like, superpower, the person said was. <laughs> It was tucky, tucky. Yeah, it was. Uh, um, the, it was this lady um, uh, who uh, ended up uh, um, taking out like this huge, like general guy, and her her thing that she did, she tucked people in with glasses of milk. And so, and so, um, uh, the, oh, we, the we, we heard this she at took Airborne. That spike and like yeah. Yeah, killed him. Yeah, with yeah. And, and, and so, the Bible is so, filled with crazy stories. Yeah. Everybody's like, Jesus would never do that. Read your Bible. He does weird yeah. stuff. It's he has bad butt in there. <laughs> yeah. Twice. And so the um, pastor that we uh, were listening to over the weekend at Airborne, he yeah. described uh, he described her as a lady who was really good at tucking people in. So, yeah. so oh like, he ended up, he my ended, God. He ended up calling her Tucky Tucky. That's funny. He gave these people like super weird superpowers and very funny voices and yeah like, tucky tucky i have a stick a <laughs> stick yeah. stick i have a stick and it I turned into a conference. snake oh okay. i wish you could i wish you could have been there what at airport about, it was awesome have, what about i know we don't, don't have very much time but like plans for future events and things that you are trying to look forward to in the future mm -hmm. it's a good bit of close yeah i mean well <laughs> i mean we we do these you know monthly second sunday of every month you know uh freedom rallies right yeah. now they're hosted at praise but we're wanting to do them outside of praise because mm -hmm. we're wanting to reach more people Shout then yeah yeah just the people you know hearing stuff but yeah i mean the shouts coming up 
Oh it'll be here before you know it. It's November and it'll be April 14th through the 16th. And you can find out more information about it at the shout event.com. And, uh, you can, you know, check out everything about faith, like birds at faith, like birds.com. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Yeah. And if you ever want to, Oh, the Bible's coming close to me. If you ever want to, <laughs> you know, invite us, host us, you know, yeah. if you have a youth group, you know, or a group of kids, you know, that you want to see, you know, get rock smoked encounter God, um, you can reach out to us info yeah. at faithlikebirds.com and go to the website. And we'll try to be there that. as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I have a calendar book. It is time to end this podcast. No. I do want you to pray yeah. for closing if you Let's would Let's go. Like yeah. To. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Should I keep staring I at you? That's a great idea. You, 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 whatever you I think want. We, whatever I think we should stare want. into each other's eyes when we pray. <laughs> okay. That's kind of intense. <laughs> I, could do I, it. Think, I, think, I could do it. I think God. it's just a perfect way to close. Let's yeah. do it. I'm going to close my eyes because we're all being weird. So Jesus, yeah. we just thank you so much for, uh, for whoever's going to listen to this podcast. God, whoever's going to be touched by the stories, the testimonies uh, on here. And Jesus, we just thank you for the way that you love us, that you did in fact make us in, in your image and that you're bringing us back to that place. And I pray that you give us the capacity to receive your love by your grace. I pray that we would just, uh, yeah, just genuinely embrace who you made us to be. And uh, in, in all of it, God, our personality, imperfections, God, whatever, I just ask and pray that we would have the capacity to be able to love ourselves the way that you love us. And from that place to be able to love our neighbor um, as we love ourselves. So Jesus, we just thank you. And I pray blessing over this podcast, over these students. And, uh, and I am so grateful for their heart to be able to lead it and to host it, God. And I pray that this, this, this ministry touches thousands, God. I pray that it goes around the world. I pray that it touches people locally and globally, Lord, that you would use this podcast and the topics uh, to minister to broken hearts and minister to people in broken places. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So that's the end of our first episode of the Gen Free Podcast. Thank you for watching the Gen Free Podcast. Oh this gosh. has been me. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> well, quick promotions. <laughs> Follow us at Faith Like Birds on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Let's go. what else? There's one more. YouTube. 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 Yeah. yeah. That's Follow where us, this y'all. is probably going to be posted. Yeah. And, so. that, and that is the end. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to put the clapping in.